Join me at looking at this amazing chart. It's a GTV chart. I'm looking at the spike of volatility on the yuan. So we know that it's cruised past seven. Expected and realized volatility spreads absolutely soaring. We haven't, this is a one year chart, but if I move it to be a five year chart, we haven't seen this level of volatility since all the way back in August 2015, which of course was when we had the unexpected devaluation. How big a change in sentiment is this coming from China? Well, I think the 7.0 level is important, but I think that if you look at your chart, I mean, look at the volatility. We're talking about less than 4%. Okay. It still is relatively low. Oh, you're low. raining on my parade. Yeah. No, but it's, so I, I think the important thing is we go from a low vol currency to a medium vol currency. And I think that adjustment's important. And I think that's part of what's going on in the markets today. The strength that we're seeing in the yen and the Swiss franc, I think, is unwinding these carry trades. Mm -hmm. and, and they typically are lower vol currencies as well. And I think this is what really seeing this uh, as markets respond to the penetration of 7.0. And I think the market's anticipating uh, retaliation by the U.S. now. The, the U.S. cannot take this mm -hmm. uh, laying down so so to speak. And so I think that uh, we'll have to see some retaliation from the U.S. and a continued escalation of this. And also contagion effects. You were showing to me, you were like, Caroline, type in WCRS. We know that as the world currency ranker here on the Bloomberg. And we can see how much not only the offshore Chinese renminbi is falling, but the South Korean one we're seeing, the Indian rupee. How much is this going to have a spillover effect? If we look at my terminal on WCRS, is this going to have across the rest of the Asian markets? I think this is bad news for Asia. This is bad news for world growth. I think that's why bond yields are, are are really slumping here is that this is the US China is just representative of the to the tip of the iceberg you know South Korea and Japan have a big trade uh, tension going on as well mm. uh, South Korea is over the counter their tech stocks so you remember what happened is China sort of inserts itself into the uh, value-added chains and so they get uh, semi-finished goods from South Korea and so now South Korea is over the counter the technology stocks are off almost 8 percent today mm. there's a huge like a huge shot on world growth and on disruption of trade